Musa. It's happening. Itandeka. Opening financial gates God's way. Kufungua malango ya kifedha nje ya Bwana. In the morning I told us that anything good uh, and trustworthy comes from the Lord. Na asubuhi nikasema kwamba kitu kizuri cha kuaminika kitatoka kwa Mungu. A good marriage comes from the Lord. Ndio mzuri atoka kwa Bwana. A good business comes from the Lord. Biashara nzuri atoka kwa Bwana. Anything else you get away from God will come with misery. It will come with sorrow. Psalms 119. He says before I was afflicted kabla sijateswa I went away from God mimi nilipotea before my pain came kabla uchungu wangu uje before I married a knife kabla nioe kisu instead of a wife badala ya mke I had gone astray nilipotea before I married a hammer kabla nioe nyundo <laughs> Instead of a husband. Balala ya mme. I had gone astray. Nilikuwa nimepotea. He says but now. Lakini sasa. Amen. I know better. Nimeliti <laughs> neno. <laughs> Tell your neighbor remember God. Ameja nako kumbuka Mungu before you are reminded. Kabla ukumbushwe. Anything good and trustworthy comes from the Lord. Not every beautiful thing is a good thing. Sio kila kitu kinachopendeza ni kizuri. Some beautiful things are very dangerous. Vitu vingine virembo ni hatari sana. And some ugly things are very godly. Na vitu vingine visiyopendeza ni vya kiungu. Choose what you want. Chagua unachokitaka. Life is a matter of choices. Maisha ni kuchagua. Your choices will create your world. Unacho uchaguzi wako utaumba ulimwengu wako. Because you are the architect of your destiny. Kwa maana wewe ndio naye utengeneza hatima yako. You are the architect of your future. Wewe ndio unayepanga mambo maishani mwako. What you choose today, unachagua leo, will manifest tomorrow. Itajidhihirisha kesho. Life is an art of drawing. Maisha ni kama uchoraji without an eraser bila kifutio There is a law that is called the law of consequences Kuna kanuni kanuni ya kusema ya majuto It's the law of what goes around Kinacho Pita hapa na pale always comes around Itarudi tena hapa na pale What you do today Natatenda leo you will see it tomorrow. Utakiona kesho. Because life so maisha is an art of drawing. Ni uchoraji without an eraser. Bila kifutio. Be careful. Kwa mwangalifu. Don't enter every door that Us, opens. Usingie kila mlango unaofunguka. The only good and trustworthy door is the one that is opened by God. Mlango mzuri kwa kuamanika ni ule ambao umefunguliwa na Mungu. And when God opens a door, na Mungu anapofungua mlango, no man, hakuna mwanadamu can close it. 
anayeza kufunga when god opens a door mungu anapofungua mlango no witch hakuna mchawi can close it anayeza kufunga any door that god is opening for you this season mlango wote ambao mungu anakufungulia wakati huu nobody will close it hakuna atakayeufunga When God gives you a business it is yours forever. Mungu akupatia biashara ni yako milele. When God gives you promotion it is yours forever. Akupandisha madaraka ni yako milele. He is the one who promotes people. Yeye ndiye anayepandisha watu madaraka. 1 Samuel chapter 2. Samuel wa kwanza from verse 6. It is God who promotes people. Ni Mungu anayepandisha watu madaraka. It is God who promotes people. Ni Mungu apandishaye watu madaraka. The Lord who promote you. Mungu atakupandisha madaraka. The Lord killeth and maketh the life. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifted up. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust may the lord raise you up na mungu akuinee kutoka mavimbuni he lifted up the beggar from the dunghill ndisha mahitaji kutoka jani to set them among princes ili awaketishe pamoja na wakuu and to make them inherit the throne of glory wakaridhi kiti cha enzi cha utukufu the throne of shame is not your portion kiti cha aibu sio yako The throne of shame is not your throne is not your inheritance. Kiti cha aibu sio sio chako cha kuridhi. Yours is the throne of glory. Uridhi wako ni kiti cha utukufu. The path of a righteous man. Jaya ya mwenye haki. Is as a shining light. Ni nuri inayoangaa. The shineth more and more to the perfect day. Na uzidi kuangaa hadi siku kamilifu. Verse 9 says He will keep the feet of his saints say establishment At yeye atalinda miguu ya watakatifu wake So wherever God takes you he will preserve you Popote Mungu atakapokupeleka atakuhifadhi He will keep the feet of his saint and the wicked shall be silent in darkness Atalinda miguu ya watakatifu wake na wenye waovu watanyamazishwa kwenye giza. Every penina in your life must keep quiet forever. Kila penina katika maisha yako atanyamaza milele. Any muka in your life must keep quiet forever. Anayekujekejeli maisha yako atanyamaza milele. For by strength shall no man prevail. Kwa nguvu hakuna mwanadamu atakaye faulu. By strength shall no man prevail. Kwa nguvu hakuna mwanadamu atakaye faulu. Psalms 84 verse 11. Zaburi God is not a liar. Mungu sio muongo. God is not a swindler. Mungu sio mkora. God is not a scammer. Mungu sio mkora. Now this is what the Bible says for the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. That is the key to open your financial doors. Ngoja ufungua kufunga malango yako ya kifedha. Honesty. Honesty. Become honest. Kuwa Aminifu. If you want God to open your financial gates. Ukitaka Mungu afungue malango yako ya kifedha, he would do that through your honesty. Atafanya hivyo kwa uaminifu wako. From today receive the grace of honesty. Kwanza leo pokea neema ya kuwa mwaminifu. Receive the spirit of faithfulness. Pokea roho ya kuwa mwaminifu. Husbands that are here. Wana leo hapa. If you want your prayers to be answered, remain faithful. Bakia mwaminifu. Wives that are here. Wake walio hapa. 
if you if you don't want your gates your spiritual gates to close mataki malango yako kiroa yaze kuweza kufunga be faithful basi bakia muaminifu be faithful bakia muaminifu be faithful bakia muaminifu first peter chapter 3 verse verse 7 petero ya kwanza tatu bitwa saba he says you husbands dwell with your wives according to knowledge giving honor to them giving honor to unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel and as being heirs together of the grace of life that your prayers will not be hindered na kumpa mke heshima kama chombo kisicho na nguvu na kama waridhi pamoja na neema ya uzima usudi kuomba kwenu kusizuiliwe if you don't want your wallet to dry kama unataka kibeti chako kiweze kukauka be faithful kwa maaminifu if you don't want your financial gates to shut down kama unataka malango yako ya kifedha yaanze kufunga practice faithfulness jaribu kwa maaminifu be honest kwa maaminifu honesty will open for you more doors than prayer maaminifu utakufungulia malango zaidi kuliko maombi because no matter how much you pray if you are not honest your prayers will not be answered ajalizi ni yale jinsi gani utaomba kama wewe sio maaminifu maombi yako hatajibiwa god wants you to be honest more than he wants you to be prayerful mungu anataka uwe maaminifu kuliko kuwa muombaji zaidi therefore honesty is more important than prayer kwa hivyo maaminifu ni muhimu sana kuliko maombi a dishonest prayerful person mtu asiyekuwa maaminifu muombaji will still be a stranger before god atakuwa mgeni mbele zake mungu who remain a stranger in the presence of god atasalia mgeni katika uwepo wa mungu jeremiah 9:3 nlt my people bend their tongues like bows to shoot out lies they refuse to stand up for the truth they only go from bad to worse they don't improve they do not know me saith the lord they are strangers in my presence because they are not honest ano again kwa sababu sio waaminifu why do you need honesty mbona unahitaji waaminifu why honesty kwa nini waaminifu number 1 moja because this honesty is not allowed in the presence of god kutokuwa muaminifu hakukubaliki katika uwepo wa mungu this honesty will keep you far from god kutokuwa muaminifu kutakutenga mbali na mungu and faithfulness will keep you far from god kutokuwa muaminifu kutakutenga mbali na mungu psalms 101 saburi 101 na 1 verse 6 and seven give us a new living translation be careful how you relate with god there are doors only god can open na milango ambazo ni mungu tu ndiye anaweza kufungua you need people around you unahitaji watu wakuzingire but people can fail lakini watu wanaweza kurudisha chini your husband can fail mume wako anaweza kurudisha chini your wife can fail mume wako anaweza ku Ku... When men fail you need God. Wanadamu wanapokushu Mungu ana God is the one who promotes people. Mungu ndiye anayepandisha watu madaraka. Not your employer. Sio mwajiri wako. The Bible says that promotion pandisha madaraka comes not from the east, from the west, from the north from the south but from god natoka kwa bwana psalm 75 verse 6 for promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south but god is the judge he putteth down one and setteth up another he is the promoter of men 
Yeye ndiye anayepandisha wanadamu mamlaka. He can use people to promote you. Anaweza kutumia watu kupandisha madaraka. Psalms 101 verse 6 and 7 the Bible says I will search for faithful people. Macho yangu yatawaelekea waaminifu katika nchi. NLT says I will search for faithful people to be my companions. Hao wakae nami. David understands God. He understands the heartbeat of God. Daudi akaelewa moyo wa Mungu. So he knows even bringing people that are not faithful in his house is wrong. The Bible says I will search for faithful people to be my companions. marafiki wangu. Only those who are above reproach will be allowed to serve me. Pastors we need to hear this. And other ministers only those who are above reproach will be allowed to serve me wala tu ndio watakuruhusiwa kunitumikia only those who are above reproach will be allowed to serve me wala tu waaminifu ndio watakuruhusiwa kunitumikia these are some of the scriptures i read and i shake ah ndio maandiko ambayo wakati mwingine nasoma na tetemeka and i tell god to have mercy on me for with men it is impossible but with god it is possible i pray that you shall be found faithful naomba kama utapatikana kuwa mwaminifu but 7 says i will not allow deceivers to serve in my house hata kanda ni ya nyumba yangu mtu atendaye hila and liars will not stay in my presence it's time to reconsider it's time you check yourself again it's time you reconsider your relationship your connection with god if you don't want your wallet to dry up make sure akikisha that you are an honest person kwamba wewe ni mtu mwaminifu because if god will not allow his allow deceivers to serve him mungu atarahusu watu wenye uongo wamtumikie and you are serving people you are serving god in the marketplace anatumikia mungu anatumikia watu kwenye biashara so that means that he will withdraw your business atatoa biashara yako actually doesn't withdraw your business what normally happens is that he withdraws you the the proprietor the the, the owner of the business the manager atoi biashara anatoa tu mwenye biashara manager hapo because that business is needed in the marketplace so the biashara itajika itajika pale so he just withdraws you and brings another person that is faithful anakutoa tu pale hata mtu mwingine mwaminifu that will never be your portion hiyo itakuwa yako Lift up your hand and say my father my father. Ndomko nako nasema babangu babangu. Help me to be faithful. Nisaidie kuwa mwaminifu. The way you manipulate the scale, the way scale. Jesus na vyo badilisha badilisha vipimo. God is watching. Mungu anakutazama tu. Life. Maisha is an art of drawing. Ni uchoraji, usanii uchoraji without an eraser. Bila kifutio. Whatever you do here, unachotenda hapa. Whatever you do today, unachotenda leo is a seed. Ni mbegu for tomorrow. Ya kesho. Be careful. Kwa mwangalifu. The way you deal with people, unavyohusiana na watu. The way you deal with God, jinsi unavyohusiana na Mungu. Be careful. Kwa mwangalifu. Lift up your hand and say my father my father. Help me to be faithful. Saidie kwa mwaminifu and honest very important. Muhimu sana. God rewards honesty with establishment. That is point number 2. Mungu ana zawadi uaminifu na kufanikiwa ama ku Be careful that God will not withdraw you. Kwa mwangalifu kwamba Mungu atakutoa. The world requires doctors. Mwengo unahitaji madaktari. We need lawyers. Unahitaji mawakili. We need bright uh, brains. 
Unahitaji akili shupavu. Be faithful how you spend your day. Kwa mwangalifu zizi unavyotumia siku yako. What are you doing? Wewe unafanya nini? Because God brought you here for a purpose. Kwa maana Mungu alikuleta hapa na sababu. There is a purpose. Kuna sababu for every one of us. Na kusudi ya kila mmoja wetu. How do you spend your time? Wewe unatumia aje muda wako? God does not use betting. Atumii kuwekeza to raise his people financially. Kuinoa watu wake kifedha. That is not the way of God. Hiyo sio njia ya Mungu. He said, Akasema, I will bless. Ndabariki the work. Kazi of your hands. Ya mkono yako. Betting is not work. Kuwekeza sio kazi. So if you are betting and you are not working. Kama unawekeza na ufanye kazi. Don't wonder why you are not getting money. Not Don't be surprised when you end up poor a poor person. You can get a million shillings or even 5 million shillings. But uh, before that you need to read this scripture. Proverbs 13 verse 11. Be, be careful. You can get your 5 million. Unapata million zako tano. But they say inasema they say easy comes na kuja haraka and haraka now give that give us that scripture in NLT but before that let us read it in this version wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished any money you get without working pesa yote ambayo unapata bila kuifanyia kazi will soon vanish hivi karibuni nitapotea and we are going to go there so let us not go ahead of ourselves hey. so be careful kuwa mwangalifu tell your neighbor be careful ambe jenako kuwa mwangalifu tell your neighbor stop betting mwambie wacha kuwekeza tell your neighbor stop gambling wacha kubatisha eh ambia jirani wachana na karata Praise. <laughs> Amen. Najua nafinyilia watu but um, it's still okay. That is why we are here. Yeye ni sawa. Second Chronicles 7. Mambo nyakati 7 verse 17. Mambo nyakati 2 7. I will give you one more point and then we we are good. Ndampa kipengele kimoja kisha tutakuwa sawa. Give us the scripture in uh, yeah, KJV. As for thee If thou wilt walk before me as David thy father walked and do according to all that I have commanded thee and shall observe my statutes and my judgment. Verse mm-hmm. 18. Nane. Verse 18 says, Then will I establish the throne of thy kingdom. Ponda dibitisha kiti cha enzi cha ufalme wako according as i have covenanted with david thy father saying there shall not fail be a man to be ruler in israel kama nilivyoaga na daudi baba yako nikisema atakosa kuwa na mtu wa kutawala katika israeli god rewards honesty with establishment Mungu ana zawadi uaminifu kwa kudhibitisha. If you want your business to be established. Ukitaka biashara yako iweze kuwa thibiti. Thibiti. Become faithful. Kwa uaminifu. Be honest. Kwa uaminifu. If you are selling phones like James. Kama nauza rununu kama Yakobo hapa. Make sure you bring genuine ones. Hakikisha unaleta zile usilete zile gushi. And if they are fake make sure you tell us. Kama ni gushi tuambie. That the reason I brought this one sababu nileta hizi is because they are cheap. Kwa sababu ni bei rahisi. So I can sell this one to you in a cheaper price. Naweza kuuza na bei ya chini kidogo. But I don't recommend this one. Lakini mimi si I recommend this one because this one, this one is genuine. Hii ni halisi and it is more costly. Na iko na bei ya juu. Be honest. Kwa maaminifu. Be honest. If you are if you are selling property like elder my mother. Kama nauza mashamba na majumba kama mangu hapa. Tell people where the river is. Ambia watu penye mto ya pita. 
Yeah, man. Praise the Lord. Be honest. Look at your neighbor and tell them be honest. If you don't know when the title will come, tell them I don't know. <laughs> but we are in the process. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not telling you to be foolish. I'm not telling you to tell them how much you bought the, the your item, your merchandise. That is stupidity. You don't tell them. At, at this phone I bought it. This microphone I bought it at 80 shillings. I'm selling to you at 100 so that I can make 20 shillings. Don't, don't be stupid. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So don't disclose your secrets. Even God has secrets. He says the things that are revealed are for you. But the ones that are not revealed, those ones are not for you. Hey, Somebody say, I will be honest. 29, is it 29? 29, 29. Lawyer, give us 29, 29. Of Deuteronomy. The secret things belongs to God. The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed, those ones belong to you. So, if I'm selling 150, that belongs to you. If I bought it at 50 shillings, the secret things belong to me. God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So I'm not teaching you to be stupid. I'm just telling you to be honest. Even where you are making money, make sure that you are not oppressing people. Make sure you are not oppressing your employer. We keep on saying that our employers uh, oppress us. But sometimes we also oppress our employers. If you are supposed to come to the office to report at 8 and then you come at 8.10, are you not oppressing me? Are you not oppressing my organization? When you keep on looking at the watch, because it is nearing 5, is that not oppression? Life has consequences. What goes around comes around. If you oppress your company, don't you think that the company will also oppress you automatically? It's just life automatically. By, too. by default, somehow you will be oppressed. Because what goes around always comes around. It's called the law of give and it shall be given back. Tell your neighbor, be honest. Tell another neighbor, be honest. The last one, isn't it? Number three, yeah? Unfaithful gain vanishes easily. Mali, uliopata kujesi ukwaza wa minifu etaponyoka. Proverbs 13, 11, give us in good news. Nidhali kumina tatu ubetu wa kumina moja. Anything you get by the hand of God cannot be stolen. Unachopata kwa mkono wa mungu, akiwezi ibuwa. They can steal wealth but they can't steal the blessing. They can steal your car, but they can't steal the blessing of the car. You have a car because God has blessed you with a car. You have a blessing that attracts a car. 
Uko na baraka inayovutia gari. You are married because you have a blessing of marriage. Umolewa kwa sababu uko na baraka ya ndoa. It is the blessing of the Lord that make it rich. Ni baraka ya Mungu inayofanya mtu kuwa tajiri. So you are rich because you have the blessing. Wewe ni tajiri kwa sababu uko na hiyo baraka. Without the blessing you cannot have the wealth. Bila baraka huwezi kuwa na mali. Without the blessing you cannot have the riches. Bila baraka huwezi kuwa na utajiri. So the riches have only followed the blessing. Wewe utajiri umefuata ile baraka. So you get the blessing first. Unapata baraka kwanza. And then wealth follows. Kitu utajiri wafuata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The more easily you get your wealth. Mali yopatikana kwa haraka. The sooner you will lose it. Haraka utaipoteza. The harder it is to earn. Ikiwa ngumu kuipokea, the more you will have. Basi zaidi utakuwa nayo. That was not Pastor Isaac. Yeye kwa mchungaji Isaac. That was the Holy Spirit. Bwana mtakatifu. The harder it is to earn. So some of you are asking why is it that It's always hard for me to make money and other people are they they do simple things and they get rich. Mbona ni ngumu kwangu kupata pesa na wengine wanafanya vitu rahisi rahisi na wanakuwa matajiri? You now have the answer. Uko na jibu. Because yours is supposed to last. Yako haifaa kudumu. A doctor goes to school for 6 to 8 years. Daktari anaenda shuleni kwa miaka 6 hadi 8. And that is college only. Na hiyo tu ni chuo kikuu shada ya kwanza. Because his knowledge is very vital. Maana maarifa yake ni muhimu sana. His career is very vital. Taarifa yake ni muhimu sana. It would determine the longevity of people. Itaguza uhai wa watu. It would determine the longevity of people's health. Urefu wa afya watu. So that person must really work hard. Wewe lazima atie bidii sana. Not like a banker. Sio kama mmoja anafanya kazi kwa benki. Calculating you don't need 6 years. Ufanye tu mahesabu hitaji miaka 6. You don't need 6 years to do mathematics. Hitaji miaka 6 kufanya hesabu. Or a mechanic hitting things and uh ama naye fanya naye una magari. Gonga tu You don't need a lot of plating you don't need a lot of time to learn that ususi uhitaji muda mrefu wa kusoma because whatever you are going to be doing your service will not last kina ambacho naenda kufanya haitadumu after two weeks that person will come again baada ya wiki mbili yeye mtu amerudi pale but if you do surgery of the heart lakini ufanye upuasaji wa moyo it's a matter of death of or, or life life or death mambo kati ya uhai na kifo So we need someone that has worked hard. Tuhitaji mtu ambaye amefuatia bidii very hard sana. That is why even to become a pastor you really have to go through a long process. Ndio hata kwa mchungaji lazima upitie njia ndefu because you are taking people to eternity. Unapeleka watu katika umilele. I am not only helping you to have money today. Tusaidie tu kuwa na pesa leo. I'm also helping you to go to heaven. Nakusaidia kwenda mbinguni. So if your business will last, if you are going to have lasting money. Ukitaka kuwa na pesa za kudumu. Don't be bothered by waiting. Usibabaishe na kusubiri. Great achievers, super achievers are people that know how to wait. Wanaofanikiwa katika njia kuu wanajua kungojea. They say that between one and 10 businesses kati ya biashara moja na kumi, nine tisa may not succeed naweza kukosa kufanikiwa in 10 businesses nine may not succeed kwa biashara kumi, that is tisa. why you need to wait that is why you need to attempt again and again and again kwa maana ya kupasa kungojea na kujaribu tena na tena na tena tell your neighbor don't give up jana yako usikate tamaa the only reason people fail sababu watu huanguka and the only time people fail na wakati ambapo watu huanguka is when they quit ni wakati ambapo wanakata tamaa the only reason people fail is because of quitting ni kwa sababu ya kukata tamaa the only time 
people fail is when they quit. Wakati wakata tamaa. Say I will not quit. Sema sitakata tamaa. So Job 14:14 14 should speak to you. Ayubu 14:14 yafai kunene. I will wait till my change come. Tangoje hadi mabadiliko yangu yaje. Now give us that scripture again. We are finishing now. Tupela andiko tena tunamalizia sasa hivi. Proverbs 13:11 Give us in message Bible we read this we stand we pray we go home. Ndali 13:11 katika chapa ya ujumbe. Thank you. Is he, is he come is he go? Kuja haraka, ponyoka haraka. But steady diligence pays off. your neighbor don't quit. Yangine uskata tamaa. Don't quit on that marriage. Usikate kwa tamaa kwa hiyo ndoa. Don't quit on that business. Usikate tamaa kwenye hiyo biashara. Good things don't come easily. Vitu vizuri vichuchumia. Lasting things don't come easily. Vitu vya kudumu vikuji kwa haraka. Wait for your time to get married. Ngoje wakati wako uweze kuolewa. Now is time to, to study. Sasa ni wakati wa kusoma. Now is time to wait. Sasa ni wakati wa kuongojea. Any good thing comes with a process or any good thing has a process. Chochote kizuri kinakuja na kazi fulani. If you want to see God. Ukitaka kumwona Mungu. Don't go for what is easy. Usiende kilicho cha haraka. If you want your doors to really open. Ukitaka malango yako afunguke zaidi. Don't always go for easy thing. Usiende vitu vya haraka haraka. Tell your neighbor betting is not work. Ambe jenako kuwekeza sio kazi. It's not work. <laughs> so please dominator stop betting. Dominator wateneni na kuwekeza. I don't want to call it witchcraft but it looks like uh, like witchcraft. Itaikoita uchawi lakini nakaa kama uchawi. Predicting. What are you predicting? You are not the one playing. Natabiri na wewe si uchezi. You are not the coach. What are you predicting? Wewe hata sio coach na una 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 You did not coach them. You are not the player. What are you predicting? Who are you? Are you a wizard? Wewe unatabiri nini? Wewe ni Chawi. <laughs> Lift up your hand and say my father my father. Ndio kuna kwa anasema babangu babangu. Help me to be a worker. Saidia kutenda kazi. Give me patience. Nipe moyo wa kungojea. It's very important. You know those, that is what you need for your doors to open. Yetu ndio hahitaji ile mlango yako afunguke. Become a worker and be patient. Kwa mtu kufanya kazi na uko mtu asubira. Then as you are working be honest. Na kazi kwa mwaminifu. Don't lie to people. Sidanganye watu.